What up, though, fam? It's your homie Graham, and I got some strange and disturbing information about this Bobby Brown case. Check it out. What up, though, fam? I'm back, and here's a news update on Bobby, and it's only getting worse, and it's getting more confusing. So Max Limus, or Max Lamas, who was, he was on the scene when Bobby Christina Brown was found un, unresponsive in her tub on, on Saturday, January the 31st. And he's broken his silence, apparently, about the tragic incident via a just released statement from his lawyer. Um, the guy named is Philip A. Holloway. Now, in it, Holloway explains Lama's role in the situation, and he addresses the recent reports about his criminal past. Now, this is what he said. He said, contrary to uh, what's been reported, my client, Max Lamas, was the first person who discovered Bobby, Christina, and called 911. Holloway tells this to U.S. Weekly. And he also says, my client wants nothing more than to see a full recovery. He and Chrissy have been friends for many, many years, and he is absolutely devastated and prays for her immediate recovery. Now, that's some interesting uh, information. Now, you know, recently they had moved her from um, North Fulton Hospital in Rosewell, GA, and they put her into Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, according to CNN. Okay, now check this out. Holloway tells us that Lamas is doing all he can to cooperate with the authorities in their investigation of what happened. So, uh, and uh, you know, he had recent arrests. Now, as for his recent arrest, uh, which according to TMZ was for possession of drugs and intent to dis distribute. Now, this is to me where it get a little crazy because it seemed like Ray J kind of was in the same scenario with Whitney. I don't know. It's, it's getting a little creepy, fam. You know, it's it's just getting a little strange. Now, as the events surrounding Bobby, her accident, the story continued to unfold. Now, according to E, they have learned that there may be more to the story than uh, people actually originally knew. Now, hold on to y'all seats for this one. E! News has recently found out that the Rosewell Police Department detectives was investigating the possibility that another person or persons may have been in Bobby Christina's home the morning she was found by Nick Gordon face down in the bathtub. But they fled before law enforcement arrived. Tricky. It's getting tricky, fam. Now, according to a source... Um, they say that police officers was in recent days, they've been asking store owners uh, that's adjacent to, uh, you know, Bobby Christina's gated community, if they saw any suspicious persons or movements on Saturday morning prior to the police arriving. So, you know, the source, um, the source tells E! News that uh, two police investigators, in fact, they visited SunTrust Bank. Uh, after the incident and they questioned employees and they was asking about parking lot surveillance video and inquiring about any type of sus suspicious activity. Now, hold on. I ain't done. I ain't done. Now, uh, we already know that Gordon and a friend was inside the home uh, when Whitney Houston's daughter was discovered in the upstairs bedroom. But we never knew who the friend was. So now it's coming out that the friend was Max Lamas. Okay? So now, and, and, the que and I have a question. My question is, what is... Um, Bobby's Brown's ex-boyfriend doing with her husband and I'm quite positive Bobby Brown the father is wa wondering the same thing so check it out Bobby Brown the daddy he issued a statement and he said that him and the police are investigating the events that led to his daughter's hospitalization hospitalization you know I can't speak and um, and he said he even clarified that Gordon was never actually Bobby Christina's husband, even though they referred to each other as husband and wife. Seems to me like this tragic event is an enigma with a lot of twists, a lot of turns, a lot of secrets to be learned. All right, that's it for, for now, fam. I promise y'all I'll keep y'all posted, uh, keep y'all updated on what's going on, but um, it didn't turn from one thing to another. And we praying for our life, and we continue to pray for our life, but we do want to get to the bottom of what's going on. I don't know. I'm confused. What you think? What's your views? It's your homie, Grant Tizzle. And again, thank you for watching. And until the next time, I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you when I spin it. Peace.